Hey, and welcome to Nash Rocket Media. This is the Shaham Podcast. It's a short video podcast each week sharing auto and home insurance tips with all state insurance expert R. Shea Seaver. Check it out. It can help you save you money, and it can clarify what often can be confusing issues with regulations and requirements in the personal liability insurance space. He is your firecracker, your Roman candle. He is the bomb, your cherry bomb. <laughs> For your July 4th celebration, it's R. Shea Seaver. Good morning, sir. How are you? Doing better than good. How are you? I'm better than good as well. Now, I expected you to be dressed as the Statue of Liberty or something close to that today. What? Come on. You're disappointing I, me, man. I'm sorry. I'm in my pink flamingo shirt with a pink tie. I don't even know that's proper in the state of Tennessee, but oh, well, I went with it. <laughs> I like it. You're looking good, man. <laughs> Here's the first question. Uh, I have insurance, life insurance, through my work. Is that enough? Do I need more? Can you help me out at all? First off, that's great uh, that you have it through your employer. And also that any amount is better than no amount whatsoever. But more than likely, I would recommend you probably do need more based on my understanding of life insurance through your employer. It's usually about one and a half times your salary and you do get that option to purchase additional life insurance uh, from that standpoint. But you want to make sure you also get it outside of your employer just in case your employer folds or you get fired or you decide to change jobs and because you think it's greener on the side. You want to have something outside while you're in that transition, especially if you change jobs. You may have to wait 90 days before you get those benefits right. and stuff like that. So. If you're earning $75,000 a year, and I'm just using that number, and you're 40 years of age, and you got a you know, $125,000 policy because your salary, and then you purchased another $150,000 in coverage, if something happens to you tomorrow unexpectedly during these uncertain times, how long is that money going to last? Probably two or three years. So if you plan on working to 62, 65 before you retired, where's that other $1.5 million at that you actually needed so that your family wife and kids could continue on staying in the house that they were you're living in and pay for college or whatnot down the road so definitely always have life insurance outside of work and you definitely probably need more always than what we currently have at that time what is the difference between term life and permanent insurance so so term is temporary insurance it's only going to be up to the amount that you select 10 years 15 years, 20 years, 30 years. So if you decide to get $250,000 in coverage and it's $25 a month, then you're gonna pay $25 for that 10 years that you selected or 20 years or 30 years. And at the end of those years that you selected, you do have the option to renew that coverage, but more than likely you're gonna pay more than what you were paying before. The permanent, you select that coverage, it's gonna be a little bit more, it's a little bit more expensive then your temporary or term insurance, let's say it's $100 a month for the same coverage that you get on a term policy, but you're going to pay that $100 a month up to, you know, to you basically when it's your time to go of, of that money. If you're paying $100 a month, you're going to pay $100 a month up to 110 years of age. And at the same time, that money is going towards building cash value that you can borrow against later or during hard times and you can't afford to pay that 100 and you're looking to cut something real quick, you can take the money out of the cash value and pay that $100 a month until you get back on your feet and then build that cash value back up. A term policy, if you, if you go more than one month without paying, then that policy is going to get canceled. Now, they do offer a grace period where you'll sign an affidavit saying nothing's happened, and then they may reinstate that policy, but you're going to have to pay that 75 If you went three months without paying on the term, and you're about to pay $75, $100 to get it back, you know, from arrears back to current so that policy, you know, can continue. So personally, I'm a big fan of term insurance because it is the least expensive option and it gives you the most coverage. And it's one of those things where you don't want to break the bank. And when times get tough, like in these uncertain times, you don't want that to be the first to go because we're not what getting that instant gratification from having a life insurance policy. Who wants death in order to benefit right off the bat from having it? I don't. He is the antidote to mayhem. He is Shea Him.
Allstate Insurance agent R. Shea Seaver. We're here every week with tips for auto and home insurance. We thank you for joining us. Once you comment, please share. We'll see you next week. It's a great day with R. Shea Seaver. If you have any questions about life insurance and would like to discuss further, please feel free to give me a call at 615-896-SAVE. That's 615-896-7283. Thank you for watching and have a better than good day.